A lively, small river pierced the sandy bank here, forming a wall above the noisy water. You see a strange, dark figure sitting by the water. You sense it's not a demon, but not quite a regular human, either. When you come closer, you see it's the Holy Fool with her revolting smile. A witch and a soldier. What a pair. A lord and a lady. God bless. Is this the way to Slobada? It is. <laughs> what are you leading there for, huh? Old woman, maybe you've seen a friend of mine. He's a hunter. Trafim is his name. I heard he's gone missing. Well, such is life. But I haven't seen him, no. You haven't, you say? Not since the first snow, no. He's a hunter, wanders around the forest. And you, old woman, what are you doing here at this late hour? Can't I have a drink of water at night? I've got no time for you. No time! The woman abruptly jumps up and with impressive agility disappears into the bushes. A strange woman gives me the creeps. Might she be a witch or a demon? No, doesn't look like it. But I did sense something odd. Well, Slobada is close. You barely encounter anyone in the sleeping village, but Nikolai sets to work with fervor. You look around. It seems that the store is still open thanks to its attached pothouse. A somber wall of coniferous forests stands black on the horizon.
Well, he went missing quite a long time ago. We've been searching for him for a week or two already, right? <sighs> Must have fell into a bog of some sort. God rest his soul. Well, well. He might turn up yet. God willing. Did he go missing before? In the middle of the summer? Never. During the hunting season, it is to be expected. He went away for a long time. And now? Strange thing. Not even a drinker, that one. People saw him speaking to Lucaria, the holy fool, before he disappeared. People asked her, but she knows nothing. A fool, what do you expect? With the amount of misfortunes she had, no wonder she lost her mind. What happened to her? She used to be an ordinary gal, but then her husband passed away, and her child followed him. Since then she has gone mad, left the village and built a hut in the swamps. Leaves of appearance. Where can we find her? She lives in the swamps to the north of here, in a crooked little hut. I myself haven't seen it. But people talk. Though if I were you, I would keep away from those swamps. A dark place. We rarely pass there. Only if you want to take a shortcut to Yanidor. What might she discuss with Rafim? Devil knows. Ask her yourself. On our way, we ran into a frightening woman. That was Lucaria. Who else? Every village has its black sheep. We have Lucaria. Tell me about your swamps. They are called Cassian swamps. I don't know who Cassian is, but one thing is for sure. The paths through these swamps are winding. One could easily lose their way. Kola. If you remember, the woman told us that she hasn't seen Trafim. Right. Something's fishy here. Let's head to her hut and question the mistress. Wait, you're not a knower, are you? Could you fix our creek? It's a bit to the west. Whisper a bit or something? What a creek it once was. They call it Dark Creek now. Very well. Thanks for your assistance. We'll offer our help if we're nearby. God bless. A river flow has burst out from the overgrown slope and gurgles down the wooden trough to the crooked platform, long since rotted through and obviously forgotten. You sense ancient devil sorcery nearby and unwittingly tighten your grip on the book. By intuition, you look under the platform. You were right. You meet the gaze of a devil idol dug from the earth by the flow of the river. Looks like the local peasants are deterred by this ancient sorcery. You hold out your hand and grip the bronze goddess with the tips of your fingers. The moment you start to pull on it, a hairy paw grabs your arm. The ancient artifact is protected by Chu's spirits.
Swamp water glitters menacingly with the sharply pointed stars of the night sky. Nikolai walks in front of you as you pass over hillocks and dry ground. He says that during the service, he had to find his way through even nastier swamps. In the dawn mist, you can finally make out the izba you're looking for. Its black windows gaze at you like the eyes of a dead man. Cockroaches scatter as you open the crooked door. Inside, the izba is even grimier. You smell rot and desolation. You flinch, a shadow ran by the window to the forest. Though you lost the fool in the dark, Nikolai follows her tracks as if you were following her in broad daylight. You step under the thick canopy of the unwelcoming forest and pause. You hear a terrible crunch in front of you that evokes the image of dry bones. You're greeted by a huge chort.
No, no, wait! Wicked people! Villains! Don't touch my child! Jesus and his troops? Does she think it's her child? Get out of the forest! I didn't call you, nor would I ever wish to, you damned Kuldoons! Is she out of her mind? Or is it something we're not seeing? What sort of demon are we dealing with here? Changeling. Lord, she nursed her changeling for so long. Soon it will grow the forest itself. It's clear now. No one grows that much eating regular food. You're a changeling, you damned witch! Where did you get the changeling? There's no changeling here. Only my girl, my Lucaria. Try to remember. We may be able to help you. Lucaria, hush, my girl. They will leave soon. And soon you'll have a nap. You won't learn anything from her. It's so unlikely we'd find the girl. Who knows how long it took for it to grow that much? Who knows how much dreadful food? Uh. I don't even want to think about it. Step aside. We'll banish this demon. Banish yourself, you filth. Leave me and my Lucaria alone. Be gone. Be gone. Where is Trefim, you hysterical woman? Kola, look around. She's been feeding a demon. Feeding it with people. My child must eat, yes. He needs food to grow. Cursed woman. I'll show you how to kill people. Wait, let's question her first. He can't leave this chort alone. The next thing you know, he'll feast on Slobada and Pantina. That won't happen. We'll burn it. I have to do it. For Trefim's sake. Shoo! Be gone! Be gone! There's no talking to her. Her mind is gone. Here is what I think. She's as guilty for my friend's death as the demon. Who knows how many more died because of her? She has to pay for her evil deeds. You can't do that. We're not executioners. <sighs> You're right, Wiselisa. You've saved me from this sin. A sudden jerk, and the holy fool is consumed by flames. Nikolai tries in vain to pull the unfortunate woman out of the fiery trap. In several moments, she has passed to the other world, following her beloved changeling. Thank you.